Go ahead. Uh, welcome back to the old Kentucky homestead. Uh, glad to see you all. And I am Leonard Holmes. That's who I am. I got my Donald Trump hat on, see? Today I was going to tell you about my Uncle Jay here. He was my great uncle. He was daddy's son. He's cross eyed. And he used a pole axe to kill his hogs with. He, uh, Take a pole axe and turn the blunt in, you know, and hit them hogs up between the eyes. And he got his neighbor to hold the hog for him until he could hit him, hit him between the eyes with that axe and kill him. He's expert at it. And he told him he was, he was holding that hog, and he said, Now don't hit me with that axe. So he said, I ain't going to hit you. I said, What's wrong with you? Well, he said, You looking at me. See, he's cross eyed. And I had another uncle. His name was uh, Silas. Great uncle. He lived up there in what they call a travel orchard in Virginia. And uh, he had a young boy hung around with him wanting to go for his daughter, to go with his daughter. He's come back from church one night and that boy, you know, trying to get points in with his future daddy in law. Uh, Jay, you know, he's a big cut. Or Silas was a big cut up. Silas crossed that barbed bar fence and that boy crossed that barbed bar fence and he said, uh oh, I said I dropped my hat. He's a big old cow pile. It's about dark, you know, there's a big old cow pile there in the field. He said, oh, I'll drop my hat. And that boy run, he jumped down there to get his hat for him. He stuck his hand right in that cow pile. Well, uh, my, uh, their brother was Jasper. Jasper was my grandpa. And uh, he he could joke a lot, but he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't take a joke. He'd get mad, you know. So some of them boys down there told him he's coming up through Hubbard Springs there on his horse, and they stopped him, and they said, Jasper said, did you hear about that big tariff we had down here in Hubbard Springs last night? I oh, Lord, no, what happened? Well, they said a buzzard tore a cow pile all to pieces. He said, get up. He kicked that horse up and went on up the road, matter and hell. And uh, another thing Silas done, that my Uncle Silas done, they was, all of them standing over there waiting on the mail carrier about 12 o'clock, you know, at the mailboxes. A bunch of women standing around there and all of them waiting on the mail carrier. Silas said, the uh, airplane went over. One of them small airplanes went over. And Silas said, that must be a mail plane. He said, uh, it goes every, over every day right while we were standing here waiting on the mail. And one of them women, she said, well, how did you know it was a mail plane? He said, I seen the wheels are hanging down. I'm feeling pretty rough today. Uh, I took me a nap all ago and I got back up. And uh, I got to quit this drinking. But now I'll feel pretty good tonight when I go to bed. When I get up in the morning, I'll be lucky if I can walk. And uh, I'm not going to sing that little song.